Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 60 of the B-Graders here at Sweet Remedy. Beautiful winter's day in Perth. And Matt, there's only one thing to talk about. The Giro Rosa. Okay. And how good are our Aussie girls doing there? They're going okay. They've won three stages and as we go to air, they have the jersey. They do, because Amanda Spratt won on the first hilltop finish last night, not far from where my relatives are. And Emma Meek Van Vluten was second. Are they alive, your relatives? Some of them. Good. Some of them. Good, good. Some of them, not so much. And because Jess Allen's riding. She got the three-day call-up. That's call probably up. why they're winning everything, because Jess is doing all the work. She got the three-day call-up. Yep. She led Julianne Dehor out for one of her wins. The second one. The first one that Julianne Dehor won. Jess was already OTA. It's not Dehor. What is it? It's Julianne Dora. Dora? I can't. It looks Dora. like Dehor. It's I'm not trying to be the way you say it. I'm not trying to be disparaging or anything. That's what, what I thought that's it was a kid that's to be. come on. I saw her ride Track Worlds in 2012 uh, for Belgium, mm. and quality she bike has rider. well, she has just developed into a quality bike. Well, Madison Champion, like she has turned into Good just a rider. super super bike rider, and fit as nowadays. Oh, absolutely, fit as. And I say that in the plight as yeah, athletic she's way. Fit. She's actually she's, super fit. Not and she's, as in and she's one of the more your mama's fit. Yeah, you know? she's one of the taller. Wider shouldered girls in the bunch. Out of my, then I just cracked out of yeah, my yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Anyway. And she goes really well in a sprint. She was winning sprints by more Killed than bike lengths. Killed them. Lots. Anyway, really, lots. let's talk about the big stories going around at the moment. And the big story at the moment is the Tour de France. Is that on? Apparently. Oh. We've got the Tour Fantasy League. Now, we, of course, talked about having the Velo Games Fantasy League, which everyone's familiar with. You can still get can in. You still get in. I think so. You might be a bit short on points he I'm coming second to last he's coming 19th of 20 well 19th out of 21 because there's two two teams on 20 but Adam's coming 13th at the moment because he is lucky his asthma he is Lawson Craddock he is Lawson he's Craddock just broken a broken man got the number upside down I think Callum Montgomery's floating around the top he is so uh, nice to see Callum still watching the show well, he's, well, working, he's working for a living now so what's been going on in WA cycling? Anything? No, not that I'm aware of. And lots of CX riding going on. CX races coming up. West Coast Masters races coming. Oh, I'll tell you what's happened since we haven't been on air for a week. Something we hadn't even talked about is A grade got disqualified at West Coast Masters a few weeks ago. Apparently they did. Apparently they overtook a car up a hill on a blind bend over double white lines whilst hands off the bars not being professional and they got disqualified. Well done, Bob Addy. Well done. You, well you done. told them before the race, if you cross the double white lines, you get disqualified. And guess anyway, what? Anyway, they crossed the double white lines, they got disqualified. The only way anyone's going to pay, to pay attention to the rules is putting the rule in place and actually going through with I the rule. I asked uh, Chris Glasby about it. He said, I don't know, I was already out the ass. <laughs> He'd already done a spoke. He had broken a spoke. He I didn't say how spoke. he was out the ass, but he was already out the ass. He was very unlucky. Very, very yeah, unlucky. But, uh, he gives himself a lifetime warranty on his wheels. So Peter Sagan's flying. Gaveria's so is Gaveria's flying. flying. Two Aussies have won stages already. Simon Gerrans and Richie Port won the team's time trial. They did indeed. Paddy oh, yeah. Bevan, the New Zealander, won a stage. Yeah, New Zealander, who cares? And I tell you who That's else like is caring about how England went in the World Cup. It's they, not coming home! No, no, it's going home to split. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, uh, uh, Simon Clark is doing a very good job for EF Education First, proud by Drapak. Is he? Apparently he's the team captain and he's, he? he's keeping Lawson Craddock, who's broken a shoulder in, in the race. I reckon his biggest job would have to be get Taylor Finney out of bed and on his bike each day because Taylor Finney would have to be the most laid back man. Well, that's like. what it looks like. He's just the most casual man in the history of the world. All right. Uh, Sylvain Chavanel surprise. was very good in that oh, long break. Chavanel took a long break away, but a bit of a favour by the bunch, I think, for Sylvain. Let him go up the road as he went through his hometown area. So he went nicely. Um, who Lovely do you think, Willier from bike. what we've seen, yeah, the Willia did look very nice indeed. Adam's just he wants very to subtly <laughs> showing us a piece of paper because we don't have an auto on, Cobbles on stage nine. Yep. I think it'll Lawson be. Lawson Craddock's not going to enjoy no, that. He's stage. not going to enjoy it. I think of the favourites, Nibbly and Dumoulin will be the will be the the big winners that day, but the winner will probably be someone from the Wolf Pack who's used to riding I cobbles. Hope so. I hope so. Vermark, Australasia, I hope so as well. Um, one thing I'll say, the stage that Sagan won up the La hill. Last night, very good win. Chris Froome controlled the pace. It was follow Chris Day. It was follow and The big Chris. difference, and this is what I said the other week when I said, who do you think is going to win? I said Froome, because I think Sky is going to turn up with the team. He had four guys with him at that point of the race. Our mate Richie, 
Van Avermaet was going for the stage. You've got to allow him that. Olympic champion, yellow jersey, and he's going to try and win a couple of stages with that jersey. But uh, Van Garderen was nowhere near Richie. He's gotten dropped already, so Caruso, Richie's going to be outnumbered in the mountains. Caruso was there. The big, the big thing on Froome and Dumoulin as well is how the fatigue from the Giro will hit them in the third week when the high mountains come. And that's yet to be seen. If they manage that well, they are the two big favourites. One thing on that stage, all three Movistar men, one, two, three in the line following each other home. So Movistar are going to have the numbers, whether they can do the job for each Paul other. Paul Quintana, he's done his deal. He lost a minute and a half when his I'd, wheels folded. Uh, in Lander's that. always going to be the boy for this tour. You'd think so, but yeah. they were saying Quintana was the number one guy. Yeah, yeah, no, you know how bollocks. it is. You can't time So ball. tonight, I think it's tailor-made for Julien Alaphilippe up to the Mur de Bretagne. Uh. Van Taylor made, made for mine. Uh, well, one Van of those two, both mine. both very similar riders, but I think the Alaphilippe, with the Wolfpack driving him and no distraction of getting Richie to the finish, yeah, has no. a, has a bit of a. I think also a bit of a favouritism on my part for that. Any time it goes uphill, I think Sky is going to turn it up a notch. Possibly. Like they did, like they tried to last night. So possibly. It's going to be a very classy bike rider who wins the stage tonight. I think. Um, I thought this was going to be a boring first week. It's been anything but. First stage was. Awesome. 10k to go. Couldn't have been better. I stayed awake. Um, Didn't fall asleep. Not, uh, not so much the last few days. Not in the sycophantic business whatsoever. But well done to our mates, Matt Conan and Robbie McEwen, who are doing a superb job in commentary. I actually like listening to it. And another mate of mine, Ant McCrossan, is the man in the in the TV truck doing all the directing of the show. So big well done to those three men. Uh, nice to have a bit of an inside drum on what goes on behind the scenes. And well done Luke Durbridge for falling off and not getting hit by passing bike riders as you ran to sit on the ground. Luke, classy act. Big well done. I think that's all we're talking about. Yeah, so uh, we'll Matt1 one at iinet.net.au Matt1 at iinet.net.au for your feedback. We have had some photos from Nick Cowie. I don't know, we didn't get any of them in because it's two weeks ago, but uh, you what, keep them coming, Nick. Thanks, Nick, because Nick did a very good photo of an old mate of ours, Lance Portman, of Endurance Edge Coaching. Wins the bunch sprint the other week at uh, Peel Districts by about three bike lengths. Now, when he was a kid, when he was a teenager, Lance, you could never sprint. I don't know where you found this sprint from. Gym work. But here's the thing. Have a look at the photo of this bloke. This man turns 50 next year. Yep. I need a long, hard look at myself, and I need to go and start training with Lance. That's what I need Lance to do. Lance is very good. Well done, mate. Andy had a chat to me in the bunch, and uh, it was it's quite yeah, a... Yeah, he rode. I did. I he did. actually raced. I did. It was like, wow. What's going on? Anyway, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.